Hello everybody, it's me, Grant Scarborough, aka The Aura Terror Bird, and today I'll be, well, this is pretty much inevitable by this point, also this video is unscripted, but still, I'll be showing you all my Webkins collection, along with my sister's Webkins collection, two in one, I guess you could say, starting with, well, actually, I'm going to show you how I organize them first. We got the main cast here, along with some supporting characters, Colin, Dr. Hujo, Draw Pencil, even though he's not an actual Webkins. This is where the dogs are stored. In this plastic tubware, the birds and the zums are stored in here. The cats are stored in here. Reptiles, amphibians, primates, and this snowman are in this blue bucket. And everything else is in here. Your elephants, your horses, your rhinos, so on and so forth. And as a bonus, I've also got Nefaria here. And Quizzy Bear, the custom plushes of them that I made. And I would have shown you all Zangaz, but he got torn up by one of my dogs back in the day, and it, er, a few years ago, soon after episode 7 of the Webkin show was released and uploaded. A few months after that, one of my dogs ripped him up while I wasn't home. So, yeah, you can press F in the chat now, folks. Also, as a bonus, here's what's left of him. Yeah. Rip. Oof. Oof to the tenth power, I suppose. Alright, so after hours and hours of organizing these webkins and getting them all set up, I finally got that done! So my webkins are on this side of the couch here, and actually I had to get a giant Tupperware lid so I could stand all these webkins up and such, and they're also on this bench, this log bench right here, while my sister's webkins are all over here on this side. They even had to stack a few of them on the top of this couch. But we'll start with my webkins starting, and I also organized each of them, each of these two groups in the order that each of us adopted them, and so on and so forth. So starting with my webkins, and you'll notice that some of them have their eyes missing, their plastic eyes are missing, and that's because the dogs chewed them out, uh, chewed them up or whatever. So, yeah, let's begin. So my first ever Webkins was Zack the Elephant. I got him back all the way when I was only six years old. It was 2007, October. Or October 2007, I remember it quite well. Um, he's missing his eyes. We also got uh, Frog, the Frog. Yes, I... Oh, that almost reminds me, I forgot to mention this. I also have a clipboard of all my Webkins names. These are actually my sister's Webkins names. Hold on. I, I, I don't have a tripod here with me. <sighs> Um, let's get that to focus in. There we go. These are the names of my webkins here. Getting back on track, we then have Jack the Koala. And you can see his head is all taped up because the dogs one of my dogs chewed his head up a few years back, many years ago. We have my first ever female webkins, Sarah the Red-Eyed Tree Frog. We also have Tia the Gorilla. My first ever lilkins, Pinky the Pig. Uh, green the turtle, blue the hippo. Remember, I was like six or seven when I made these names, so please keep that in mind. Vant the white googles. Next up, we have Nia the charcoal cat. Goofy dog, my little kin Saint Bernard, right there. Lofty, yes, I named him after Lofty from Bob the Builder. The, the black lab. Copper the beagle, who I named after, well, from Copper from the Disney film The Fox and the Hound. Dark the Black Bear. We then have... Um, okay. We also have Love the Heart... Uh, love the Love Frog. I'm sorry, this isn't scripted. We then have my other turtle, who I named Reen, though, according to... actually named him Ren. Let's see here. Yep. Ren the Turtle, even though I was supposed to name him Reen. I spelled it wrong when I originally... I remember it. I actually remember this, so... Please remember, I was, I was like, seven. Please keep that in mind. We then have my charcoal cat. Okay, so there's actually been a mistake on my part. The name of my black cat is actually Meow. Nia is the name of my charcoal cat. My apologies there. That was a mix up on my behalf. And like I said, I'm really sorry there. We then have Kuia, my raccoon. Her name's spelled Q-U-W-I-A. Remember, I was really little, so please understand my odd naming choices. Next up, we have the star of the Webkin show himself, the main character, pretty much, Rex the Leopard Lizard. 
you can see his little, um, the replacement eye made for him after he was chewed up in late 2017, along with his Omnitrix rights there. We then have Chi the Cheeky Monkey, Max the Yellow Lab, who's either the cousin or brother of Lofty, I can't remember for sure. We then have Boa, my Tiger Snake. Yes, I named him Boa after a Boa Constrictor. We then have, and I kid you not, Banana Nana the Chihuahua. Yes, that's why I named him. Banana, I was I originally, I, like I said, I was really little. I was like seven and I didn't know how to spell very well back then. <laughs> And I, I, his name is basically Banana, na 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 or whatever. Banana, na 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 Batman. What am I doing? We then have Connor, the little Kins Panda, and he's missing his nose, unfortunately. Then there's also Carrie, the pink and white cat. Dot, the spotted leopard. Pen, the Pinto. There's Charge, the rhino, the guy who's a, you know that crazy hyper aggressive gamer. Yeah, there's Charge right there. Crab the Coco Dino. Yes, I named him Crab. Patrick the Bengal Tiger. We then have Ken the Brown Arabian. There's Croc the Crocodile. Is it Crocodile or Alligator? Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Crocodile. We then have the Black Poodle who I named Black Poodle who I named Fuzz. Then there's also uh, Sneaky the Sparkly or Sparkle Gecko. Okay, everybody, so I must inform you all that I sort of made a slip up because I accidentally didn't uh, um, line them all, line up, organize all my webkins with the order I adopted them in reality because it turns out I messed up somewhat because we're not in the order of the paper to the exact degree or whatever. So I'm just going to do this to the best of my ability based on the paper, so I'm going to have to go back and forth with the camera here, but still. So next up we have Nemo the Clownfish, then there's Page the, humming, the Page the Hummingbird, and from what I've heard, it's actually male hummingbirds who only have this red throat pouch, so, or red neck, or red throat, so that's yeah, kind of strange, so I apologize for that. There's then <laughs> Sally the Dolphin, Mar Marty the Bat, um, oh, Ringo the Langer, Henry the Hedgehog, uh, Biff the Buffalo, Kling the Dash Hund, and she's a, and a female actually, just wanted to inform you of that. Puck the Goldfish, who I sadly don't have with me at the moment, I couldn't find him, which sucks, but whatever. Uh, of our Webkins fish that I do have is my Blue Triggerfish, Sparkle, she's right there. There's then Humps the Camel, Brian the Key Lime Dinosaur, right there. Ringtail, the Ringtail Lemur, Veronica the Giraffe, Gr Veronica the Giraffe. Colin the Zebra, he's right there, he's that, he's the um, army veteran, you might remember if you've seen my plush series of Webkin Show, I'll link to the playlist down below in the description. Toby the Blue Googles, Tracy the Parakeet, Lettuce the Caterpillar, Joanna the Oriole, Tim the Turkey, Midnight the Black Panther, Silverback my, well, Silverback Gorilla, Roadrunner the Blue Fadoodle. Then there's also, I don't have her name on the list here, but this is Freezy the Female Snowman, or in this case, Snow Woman, I guess you could say, or Snow Girl. Yes, they actually made a Webkin Snowman, surprisingly. I know, it's quite shocking. Thomas Jr. the Walrus, Flappy the Robin, Annie the Lionfish, Sniffer the Schnauzer, there he is, he's the, event, the inventor from the Webkin show. You might have seen him before, maybe not. Maybe you have? Who knows? Like I said, the link below in the description to the My Plush series. There is, here's my first ever signature Webkins I ever got. He is the signature signature penguin named Private. After that, Private, the penguins in Madagascar. Remember I was little when, remember, re, please remember I was little when I made these names. Hopscotch, the guinea pig. Bulk, the bulldog. There's also Presto, the amazing hamster there. I don't have his name on this list, I think, but just wanted to inform you right there. Thidwick the Moose, yes, I named him after that Thidwick. Here's my second signature. His name is Bengal, the Endangered Bengal Tiger. Well, yeah. There's Tuscan the Warthog, who I named after the Tuscan Raiders from Star Wars. Spike Plate the Triceratops, who I named after, of course, his frill. Also, I'm pretty sure the Triceratops in real life didn't actually have um, leopard pattern skin some 66 million years ago, but whatever. Spike Rad, because I named him after the Rad hairstyle. The Hedgehog, yes, not Hedgehog, excuse me, Porcupine. 
Uh, I, I'm supposed to know my animals very well. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm actually recording this very late at night because it took me so long to organize all these webkins and in the order that they were adopted to the best of my ability, but whatever. We then have Bo, the leopard seal, and it's a she for those who are wondering. Next up we have Doug the orangutan, who you might remember as Sniffer's college professor. He, he, I even have his, there's even his little lab coat on him right now. He's wearing his trusty old lab coats to show that he's this amazing scientist and so on and so forth who taught Sniffer back in college and, well, yeah. Next up we have Carter, or Carter, the Midnight Monster. Then there's my next signature, Crunch, the Endangered Brown Bear. We then have Vaxen, the Apatosaurus. Next up there's Camouflage, the Chameleon, who is a female for those who are wondering. Then there's Susie, the Tomato Clownfish. The uh, Rock Hopper Penguin, who you may have remembered from a few previous episodes of, a few, well, a few episodes of the Webkin Show. His name is Rookie. That's right, Rookie. And I want to use him more. He's one of Charge's old friends from his childhood, who still he's who he's still friends with in adulthood. You might remember him from episodes one and twelve of the Webkin Show. And I want to use him more. I want him to be like an Otaku character. You know how Charge is crazy about video games. I want his other friends, um, Rock Hopper, to be more like an Otaku, and um, uh, Toby to be like a film critic, sort of, like a trio of like uh, media critics, almost uh, pop culture people. I guess you could say. I want to do that more, trust me. I'll get around to that hopefully soon enough. Next up we have the Ribbon Lion who I named Trevor. Another Susie who is an aardvark. For a kite, the signature endangered chimpanzee. Yes, I gave him that name. For a kite, you know, like fur because he's a chimpanzee, he's covered with fur and kite, like a kite you, fl kite you fly around because, there was, because back when I was younger, I actually in my in my Webkin's World account, I actually, I'll show a picture of it to you all right now. Fur Kite's room is actually space-oriented because, you know, flying kites, flying around, then space. An odd choice, I know, I was pretty young, just please understand that. Yetix, the Yeti. Yes, I just put down Yeti and then I put an X there because I thought, I thought it sounded cool. My signature endangered jaguar, Jackson. Saber, the saber-toothed tiger, though to be more scientifically accurate, it should be called a saber-toothed cat, but whatever. Then there's Quijai, the chicken, from the latest episode of the Webkin Show at the time I'm recording this. And then there's also Quijai, the Chinese dragon, who you will soon see in the Webkin Show soon enough. I, I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't... Look, I'm just saying this right now. He is going to appear in the Webkin Show sooner or later. Trust me. He will appear soon enough. And finally, we have um, uh, Polka. I don't have his name on the list here, but um, Polka, the uh, polka dot or striped polka fish, or uh, what is he again? I can't remember. Oh my god, what, what am I doing? Remember, this is un remember, folks, this is unscripted. Let's see here. He is the polka backfish. There we go. There we go. Like I said, this is all unscripted. Rather unprofessional, I apologize for that. But we also have my two Zums, Zalo and Zip. Is that, is that her name or something? Zip, right? Yes, Zip. And we also have our two whack, my two wacky Zingos plushes. And this is the one I actually use for videos because his voice, his voice box isn't, uh, his voice box is broken, so I don't want to set anything off by actually um, using him, unlike this one whose voice box still works. And one of them is my sister's, one of them is mine. I can't remember which is which, so yeah. Now that I've shown you all my collection of Webkin's pets, it's now time to show you all my sisters. And I actually had to get an extra light in here to make sure the camera quality is good enough and such. And don't worry, I have the list of my sister's Webkin's pets with me as well, as I have previously mentioned. So let's begin. We first have Brownie the monkey, Ducky the Lilkin's Googles. We then have Tigger the Webkin's tiger, the classic Webkin's tiger. Brain Drain! Tiny the Raccoon, Spot the German Shepherd, who you might remember me using as a police officer in a few Webkin Show episodes, a few episodes of the Webkin Show. We then have Isabel the Spotted Frog, Peanut the Golden Retriever, and this one's actually quite interesting because there's no W at the bottom of any of his paws. See? No W. When you look at other Webkin's pets by comparison, you'll almost always find a W. See? W right there. 
And I actually want to mention something real quick. None of these webkins are for sale, so do not ask me in the comments. Sorry, I should have put down that disclaimer, or explained that disclaimer at the start of this video, but hey, better late than never, I suppose. Next up, we have Polly the Polar Bear, who actually has is wearing this webkin's charm right now at the moment. See? And the same also goes for Puggy, who I almost forgot to mention. He's, it's a pug, and has another webkin's charm right there. Next up, we also have Wacky the Dalmatian. Then there's Clarice the Little Kitten's Horse. Then my sister's Charcoal Cat, whose name happens to be Paw Print. Then there's my sister's Webkin's Leopard, who goes by the name of Chuckle. Then there is Bully the Bulldog, way over there. Next up, there is Snowy the Seal. Yeah, and I tried to find her, and I couldn't find Snowy the Seal, so sorry about that, folks, but I couldn't find her. She may have gotten lost in the collection of my sister's Webkin's and mine, and so on and so forth, but whatever. Maybe she'll... maybe I'll find her sooner or later, or whatever, but... Yeah. Moving on, we have Snowflake the Rabbit, Chocolate the Chocolate Lab, well, no duh, Roar the Lion, then there's my sister Spotted Frog, whose name is, or not Spotted Frog, excuse me, Love Frog, who goes by the name of Heart, then there's Rainbow the Pink Pony, Casey the Collie, Lucky the Basset Hound, the little kid's Basset Hound, Icy the Penguin, Scruffy the Yorkie, Nikki, the Lilkin's polar bear, right there. Crystal, the gray Arabian. Then there's Fluffy, the poodle. Cracker, the kangaroo. Beluga, the manatee. Yes, she named her Webkin's manatee Beluga. Actually, according to the paper here, that's not her next Webkin's. It's actually Buddy, the brown dog, who's way over here. My mistake. Next up, there's Peck, the chicken. Minnie, the white mouse. Emily the Frog, Lilkin's Frog there. Sierra the Toku Toucan. Payne the Rottweiler, yes, that's his name, Payne. Karen the American Cocker Spaniel. Nikita the Samoyed. Um, the fantail coconut, uh, fantail goldfish named Coconut, who's sadly right, not here at the moment. Then there is Caroline the Deer. Where is she? Oh, there's Caroline the Deer. Ugh. Yeah, like I said, I did a rather poor job of organizing these Webkins, my apologies. They should have been according to the list, um, you know, in rows and such, but you know the couch works, and each of these Webkins are a bit different in terms of size. Yeah, like I said, I would have done this more professionally, but this is just a little video to show you all my collection. Uh, well, my collection, my sister's collection. And then I'll talk about my sister's collection. Then there's also, well, S Smelly the Skunk. Then there's Nancy the Whimsy Dragon, who I sadly could not find. But now there's Harold the Eagle. Bl birthday Wishes the Blue Jay, way down there. There's also the striped snake named the Princess, who I couldn't find either, which sucks. But then there's Cute the Lioness, the little kitten's lioness. Now we move on to Beluga the Manatee, according to my paper here. Speaking of which, next up is Rebecca the Black Cat. Then there's the black and white cheeky dog named Marco. Where'd he go? Oh, he's way over here, of course. <laughs> what am I thinking? Then there's also the camel named Anthony, who I couldn't find either. Who I could find, however, was the little tree frog, frog named Stephanie. Then there is also the black Frasian named Andrew Jackson, right there. He's named after the US president. Yeah, none of us knew how bad of a president he was before this, so please keep that in mind. There's also Tweety the Canary, named after Looney Tunes character, of course. Strawberry the Pink Googles. Squash the Seahorse. Rosalina the Otter. Ricky the Little Kins Elephant. Um, actually, no, not Ricky. Larry. His name is Larry. Then there's Cherry the Cardinal who is actually a male, surprisingly. Then there's a golden white cat named Sadie, and I actually want to mention, like, there's also, a, uh, my sister also had um, has this um, grand white little kin's cat and this alley cat that are about the same size and such as Sadie, but they were never, they never came with codes, so I sadly can't remember their names. I couldn't find them, so my apologies there. Next up, we have the gecko named Freddy, who's right there. Then there's Smarty, the Siamese cat, who is right here. And I know the way I just moved the camera made the video look like it was out of sync with, out of sync with the sound, but it's not, trust me. Next up, there is Antonio, the, the brown cow, way over there. Or actually, no, right here. Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, I actually forgot to mention another cow. His name is Miles, right here. 
Getting back on topic, we then have Martha the Mountain Goat right here. Then moving back over here, we have Bubbles, the blue, the big old blue whale. Yes, he's literally a blue whale. It's blue. Then there's Honey, the Irish Setter. Alexis, the spotty dinosaur. Tina, the lamb. Then we have a Sprinter Spaniel named Stella. Uh, Roxy, the fox. Jaden, the key lime dino. Noodle, the orca whale, is supposed to be here, but I couldn't find the plush, and uh, I couldn't, I, I, me and my, si my sister and I have never seen that plush for many years, so we have, I apologize for that. Haley, the mud hippo. Elizabeth, the velvety elephant, who right now is actually wearing this uh, cute little outfit. Yeah, they've actually sold official clothes you can customize your webkins with as well in real life. It's not just in the game, though, as you can see, n most of our webkins are uh, kind of naked, but whatever, whatever. Uh, next up we have a uh, bullfrog named Drake, who I couldn't find, sadly. Though I will mention, I do have a bullfrog kins clip right here, and the clip part's actually cut off. Um, but I'll get back to the this pile later. Uh, yeah, getting back on topic. Uh, who's next up on the list? Oh yeah, Lava the Flames, the Lava Dragon, that's his name. Then there's Tyra, the Cotton Candy Bunny. Then there's Laura the Llama, who I sadly couldn't find either, but who I, someone who, could, who I could find was Travis, the Caramel Lion. Then there's also Dixie, the Arctic Fox. Then there's Tulip, the Rainbow Unicorn, or Ribbon Unicorn, my apologies, because of all the ribbons here. Then there is Daisy, Daisy the Daisy Tortoise, of course. Carly, the uh, Strawberry Cloud Leopard. Moving on way over here to the top of the couch. Um, we, I'm, I'm going to try and speak through these webkins now because I think this video is getting long enough already. Uh, Mint the Budgie, Anna the Baby Penguin, Ka Kara the Pink Poodle, Maggie the Weimariner, then there's two Clydesdales, I can't remember which one's named Jennifer, but one of them's named Jennifer, I don't know if it's the bigger one or the smaller one, but whatever. Then there is Julie the Beaver, Rusty the Shark, Alice the Lilkins Koala, then there's Sophie, who is the Lilkins Poodle, right there, the little black one. Um, she, my sister also has this webkin swan, but I couldn't find the name of it. I apologize for that. Then there's Madeline, the webkin's groundhog, the old English sheepdog named Alvin, the Portuguese water dog named Zoe. Then there's also Grace, the peace puppy, Dakota, the black bear cub, right there. Pretzel, the ferret. I should probably have swapped those two before filming this, but whatever. Tasha, the woolly mammoth, Penelope, the pretty panda, Cotton Candy, the sweetie hamster. Then, each of us used to have a spooky hamster as well. My sister named it Spiderella, but I couldn't find either of them, so my apologies for that. Her guinea pig named Gabriella, Chimichanga, her kooky chameleon, and my sister also apparently has Webkin Squirrel and large, normal Webkin's pig. I couldn't find either of their names, so... yeah. And finally, we have leftover Webkin's right here. Oh, there's also one more thing. She also has a penguin named, uh, not penguin, excuse me, pelican named Miranda. But it turns out we have another pelican, Webkin's pelican here too, but he also has this nasty stain here. I don't know why. But we also have two more chickens. One of them is missing his, uh, his part of his face. It's quite horrifying. We then have another Webkin's chicken who's in much better condition. A third Webkin's charcoal cat. The previously mentioned uh, Kins Clip Bullfrog. Um, a, a, kin, a Google's Kins Clip who I've still yet to register. I haven't even broken out the code yet. I, st I, I better do that sometime. Sometime I better put. I better enter the code on the code shop or whatever it's called. Or whatever. Then we have the Bengal Tiger Kins Clip who I also clip cut off the clip as well. Then we have the uh, a normal sized black and white cheeky, cheeky dog who's wearing a Webkin's tuxedo at the moment. And finally, another Coco Dinosaur. Woo! That's... I mean, when you literally look at this, there's well over 100 Webkin's. I'm almost certain of that. And some of them I don't even have with me right now. I've lost a few of them over the years. Like I said, the previously mentioned uh, Noodle, the Orca, that was my sister's. I can't find the, the bull, normal sized bullfrog either. There's supposed to also be like Alex the tie-dye frog. I couldn't find him either. And yeah, it's quite insane how many Webkins we, they're, they're, that I'm currently showing you at the moment. Like, this is crazy. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention my sister's two zums. Here is, of course, um, Zed, 
And finally, last but not least, there is my sister's first sum, whose name is Zana. And no, not Darth Zana from Star Wars Legends, but I'm getting off topic. So yeah, that's it. That these these this is my collection, and this is my sister's collection. Thank you all for watching. I'm gonna go to bed now. Whew, I am tired.